Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Dragonflight and our Draenei Shaman. We're gonna do some world questing to start things off today. Hope you guys are doing well, and thank you so much for being here and for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll also go ahead and throw us in the queue for a heroic. Random hero. I hope we don't get uh, Uldaman again. We've gotten Uldaman so many times. Uh, we are headed over this way. There's a potential upgrade here for our chest piece that I want to grab. Then we're going to come down here and get this Titan training matrix. The skies are swarmed with pests. Could you fly through and clear them out? The skies are swarmed with pests. Could you fly through and clear them out? Hmm. I think I could. I wish I had been a little bit better prepared for, uh... What this was going to be about. Because we probably, uh... Could have done this a little better. <laughs> like... We hit that thing. I thought that was going to be like a bonus thing. And uh, instead, it was a thing that was very detrimental to us completing the quest. Let's fight some stuff down here and do some skinning for a minute. While uh, that sorts itself out and we get some vigor back. I did spend some of our points uh, for our professions. So I went into... We opened up Primordial Leatherworking... I, I put some more points here in male shirts and a point in male armor crafting. And then in the skinning journal, we went into uh, scale mastery a bit more. So that's where we're at with that stuff. And I think that the points I spend in these trees is going to determine like me unlocking some of these recipes. Uh, that we can't quite make yet. But yeah, I'm still figuring out the system. I probably should, like, read some guides. The, the system is kind of advanced, actually. It, it's not as straightforward as you might first think. Yeah, this is uh, an interesting quest. It seems like something that one would do with max vigor. And we are definitely not... Uh, we're not working with max vigor right now, or any vigor, in reality. And there's our static shock. Okay. Wonderful. Every time I spend a couple of days away from actual Dragonflight content, I just really start to miss the beauty that I know is waiting for me. Everything's so gorgeous. The mobs, the scenery, the music. that roams these lands and kill it okay we will make good use of the resources it provides sure I believe you oh we are about to die that would have been cool to like pay attention to like a bit ago Needless to say, I love having reincarnate.
All right, so yeah, we have this other quest over here that we could do. Let, let's let's go maybe check that out. I'm not sure what this is. Five hunts remaining. What what is this exactly? The creatures here are oh, frenzied. Yeah. Kill them. Right. Quickly. He's gone now, right? We can't get him now. Yeah. That was like the so he had five charges. People could kill him five times. Is that is that what it was? I I still I still don't get it. I still don't know what's happening here with this. It's counting down it seems. What are we doing here? Okay. Yeah, this is over. I'm so confused about this. It's 100% done. I, I, I'm going to leave the area. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back to what we were doing. Yep, let's uh, try to gain some altitude. Yeah, we're just fighting a losing battle here against like limited vigor and bad aiming. Excellent. There we work. go. Our skies are clear once again. I also miss dragon riding when I'm away from uh, from the game. We are not going to get that little bit of vigor back that we need, are we? Great fish gather in droves. Of course they do. Go, gather meat for us and bring back stores. Oh, is this what we're doing? Exploits. This is this is actually what we're doing. Uh, we would need to be able to get back there first in order to do it, which I, I don't even know if if one vigor is going to be enough. Yes, barely. Okay, yeah, this was the one where we have to pull these fish out. I really, really don't know how I feel about these quests. It's like, it's something different to do, right? But different doesn't always mean better. And I don't know if it does in this case. This guy wants to duel me. Yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> nice gear. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, 
Well, he's totally geared up. He looks really geared out. He looks like the type of character that would crush me in a couple seconds. There you go, buddy. It's your time to shine, man. Just don't say anything too crass. <laughs> don't say anything too crass like that. <laughs> Good one. I like how it's all purposefully misspelled and the fear that he must feel. <laughs> uh, see, this is why I shouldn't interact with people in the game. This is what happens. Oh no, I didn't mean to target this guy. Okay, I got another one. I've never understood why, like, why a person would challenge someone to a duel that they are, like, 100% guaranteed in winning based solely upon their gear. It's always, like, kind of baffled me. It's, it's kind of experiences like that that way turn me off from PvP. Like, I often think, like, yeah, I could try PvP. I've never really engaged in PvP in WoW. Um, and I, then I have an experience like that, and I'm like, yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. Always be kind. Never know who's watching. Could even be Santa Claus. But in this case, just me and you. And everyone else. <laughs> I love it. It's all for fun. I, I guess, like, ultimately, I would probably never talk to anybody if I felt any negative, real emotion towards them. I probably would not interact at all. So, always know that it's all in fun. Even if I seem to be poking fun at somebody. It, it's all with love. Let's see, uh, look, guys, is this another one we've done or not? Uh, no, Brackenhide Hollow. I don't think, I don't think I've done Brackenhide Hollow. Alright, what about weapon buffs? Weapon buffs are good. I should probably not be standing near that uh, whirlwind of imminent death and doom. A tremor totem would have helped there a lot, I realize. Do you realize this? Yeah, a tremor totem would have helped there. Do I even have a tremor totem? That is my question. I guess I should figure that out pretty soon. This raging spinning guy is... Uh, is not fun to try to deal with. So he doesn't always do that, he just does that for an inordinate amount of his life. Perfect. I'd love to skin some of this, but I, I just don't think I'm gonna have time. Who's stealing our meat? That would be me. Big meat thief here. Here's this guy again doing his spinny thing. We're, we're far enough away I don't think we're getting hit and our auto attack is still going off I think so. Okay.
Tank's about to go down. Tank's down. I'm down. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just let's just get back in, right? I mean, that's the play. We're right here at the very beginning of the instance, so we just uh, we should probably kind of recoup. Though, who's up right now? Everybody's up except one of the DPS. Uh, that being said, yeah, let's just hang out here, right? There's the overall so far. I'm gonna track current segment and we'll take a look at overall at the end. At this point, it's just a heroic. I don't really care too much. I just like to see how I compare to other people to make sure that I'm not completely dead weight. <laughs> that there's not something that I must be completely missing about the buttons I need to press. I like to uh, have the numbers up. I'm in melee range of this guy and he's not hitting me, so I think we found the sweet spot here. Oh, we have buddies back here that no one really seems to care too much about. You be careful, we have a full party. I hate when he stuns that first one that I put the flame shock on because then it takes me longer to get it up onto everybody but I need to just not target that first one with the flame shock I think is the key
<laughs> we'll remember you. Our paths shall cross again. Here, come for us, meat thieves. We ripped you apart. What you waiting for? Bring Pretty on sure tab targeting is horribly fucking failing me right now. <laughs> like, really, tab targeting? Can you please just target somebody who is right in front of me? Anybody right in front of me? I have three mobs in front of me, it pulls somebody from back here, it looks like. I don't even have Tremor Totem, I don't think. Let me show you a good trick. That was a good trick, and it makes you hard to target, so we will target somebody else. Got a 359 ring. Could definitely use that to go over 346. Alright, is there anything else here? I don't know. Uh, we need a normal mount for a normal person, it looks like. Our gear is breaking because of the multiple deaths, so that kind of sucks.
All right, I'm glad we were inside for that. Couple people are down. We're down. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, wiping these is possible. We are gonna have to teleport back out and uh, and repair our gear. So let's do that. Great fish gather in droves. They do Go gather, gather in droves. For us and bring back we have to hurt. Exploits. If they kick us, they kick us. It's not really a big deal. We but we do have to repair. So. That is what it is, guys. We have died an unexpected number of times. It is true. A couple of those times have been my fault, but a lot of it has just been the group dying. And I don't think I can take credit for all that. Even if I wanted to. Um, yes. Greetings, sir and lord, ma'am. Thank you, player mounts. We'll probably catch them up before the next boss, if we're like, really, really lucky. Okay, they went this way, I think. And here we are! Hey, we made it back. Not bad. Had this been a classic dungeon and our gear broke, that would be like, run over. <laughs> I'm not sure what people are trying to convey here. No, nope, nothing in group. So far, the only dungeon in Dragonflight that I don't care for is the remake of Uldaman. I kind of hate it. I'm not sure why, but every time I get it, I cringe. And that's it. Even the even the Yonar and Plains one where you got a Dragonfly around, I even like that one now. And that one kind of annoyed me at first.
Yeah, I need to find somewhere I can actually stand because I, I kind of have to hit these guys. Like, it's not good so far. My ability to actually be in range to strike them has not been good. And I will say that many of them seem kind of long, and that actually surprised me a little bit. At the length of some of the five men. So we can't stand in any of the water. All the water is poisonous. Got it. I get it now. No more water standing. We're not going to stand in that either. Yeah, between the water and his little poison things, it's hard to find somewhere to stand and be in melee. All right, we've got Tree Mouth here. Tree Mouth is a boss. Feed Tree Mouth. Feed Tree Mouth. How how great. Get back. We'll get back. We were just trying to get in. I don't think I want to be anywhere near that. I have a feeling that Tree Mouth is always hungry. And we are stuck in something bad, guys. I really wish I could hit him without standing in shit. There we go. I'm like stuck in him. Okay. Mouth. 
We did kill Tree Mob. Yeah, he had it coming. Uh, we are still stuck in combat for some reason. Oh, I guess... <laughs> I, I guess we could have asked in group for someone to pull out one of their mounts. <laughs> I, I didn't have to... You guys probably were like yelling at your screens. Robert, just ask somebody to pull out... Uh, listen, I'm not used to people being able to pull out mounts in dungeons. I play a lot of classic. And I'm also not used to uh, just there being that ability to just repair from a mount. Uh, or do any other number of things. I guess it's my job to heal myself to full. I'm not sure sometimes why I sit at like half health and like the healer does not cast a spell. It's it's a little bit strange, but maybe there's something I'm missing, I don't know. I'm just pretty sure that they have a lot more mana to heal with than I do. Pretty sure that's how being a healer works. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? The F. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yep, it's just a stupid test and I failed it, right? They're, they're up top there. I have no f***ing idea how to get up there. Not even the slightest hint. No, nope. I was just following along with everybody. Maybe we can go this way. Uh, maybe. I feel like I just did a circle, but I'll keep going. I, I think we're good, yeah. Well, that was exciting. Cool, 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 cool. This is this has been fun. It's been a very, very interesting heroic run. I I like that there's been so much death and destruction. It's uh it's different. So where am I going here? I'm going this way. I feel like the healer hates me. And refuses to heal me. <laughs> Maybe that's how every DPS who gets killed feels. But when I sat at half health, like, out of combat, I just, like, how can I not feel that way? How can I not feel that way at that point? And then to be the only one to implode. Maybe I stood in something I didn't see. I guess we're not doing Rage Claw, which is a little bit disappointing. I want to skin stuff, but these guys are just go, 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 so. 
We're going. I'm sure they're practicing for Mythic. If this were Mythic, we would have been kicked out of the group about 17 times already. He's got us marked. We got rooted. <laughs> it's a long route. What do we do? Hit other cooldowns. Okay. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got a neck piece. That's an actual item level upgrade. Let's go ahead and put that on. It seems like maybe we're not done here. Yeah, is there another? There is more to this dungeon, which is actually incredible, guys. It's actually incredible. We are going to do Rage Claw. Maybe, maybe not. Zero interest.
All right, maybe we can res the tank now. Maybe. Everything rots away in the end. I control decay. I claim everything. I will wither this world and eat its bones. I'm assuming I stand out when I have this. I mean, nature damage inflicted spreads to other players. Yeah, I'm assuming I need to get away from people when I have this thing. Yeah, don't don't heal me or anything. I, I'm getting so annoyed at that. I'm getting so annoyed at feeling like I'm not getting any heals that I'm I'm obviously very close to saying something. He's low on mana and he's he's not even drinking. So we just don't we just don't have heals right now because the healer has no way to regen his mana or something. I don't know. Tell me this is not the normal thing that happens in dungeons where you sit as a DPS with no health for most of the time. Need to regen some mana. That's what water is for. Hmm. Good. I'm glad that there's a reasonable explanation for everything that's happening. Can't res because of combat bug. So the combat bug is just a bug. Okay, I get it now. I'm glad there's a reasonable explanation besides just a healer not having water. Your corpses will spread the rot.
So I guess what I'm picking up is like that will be the normal experience in this dungeon for me. When I ask, will this be the normal? If there's a combat bug, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, this will be what it's like because healers will not want to waste mana on you if they can't regen because we're stuck in combat for the whole run. Uh, that makes perfect sense. Uh, what are we doing with this? Cool, cool, cool. I'll do some self-healing here and keep myself alive for a minute. Got people dropping. Your weakling mate will rot. It's not, uh... It's not looking very good. To be fair. Could probably res. Do we have our res somewhere? Oh, we're all we're all alive. Yeah, this has been this has been quite an experience. We need to kill totems. Okay, yep, that makes sense. We'll kill totems. Uh, the good thing is that dying seemed to have stopped the combat bug that was apparently happening. So I get good times. Uh, I'm still not sure how I feel about a lot of the five-man content in this expansion. Sometimes the dungeons are fun, sometimes they're strangely tedious. It feels like the trash, all the trash, is just like a time kill to pull as big of packs as you can and just AoE it all down. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> this one in particular has just been a little bit of a grind as well. Uh, I need to stay out while this is happening. There we go. This one has been a long one. I don't know the last time I did a dungeon in retail that lasted for this long. Okay, so kill the totems is maybe what we were missing. Your corpses will spread the rats. Got him. That was actually enjoyable when we were doing it the right way, and we did pretty well. I feel like we did pretty well. Oh, okay. Great. Got some Primal Chaos. Uh, sure. Awesome. Definitely worth it. It was a good time, but it was a long time, wasn't it? Very interesting. We got a little bit of gear, got some Primal Chaos, and saw another one of the dungeons. This one would be pretty interesting on uh, Mythic. I don't really know 
how that would go, especially with the combat bug that happens. Seems a little weird. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I did want to stop down at the crafter's terrace really quick. Uh, if I can find the leather workers. Hello. Nothing else to train here. Rest. All right, guys, I am going to take a break here for today. It was fun. We got some gear. We made a little bit of progress. Uh, I'm still going to be trying to get on this character every day and gear up. I mean, obviously, the way that I'm gearing up is probably very different than the way that most people will gear up in World of Warcraft. Having a guild, you're probably going right into, like, Mythic Zero keys. A lot of people have obviously done the raid. Uh, I'm just going at my own pace and trying to enjoy the content. I'm going to do heroics for a while. Uh, I don't know what we need to get into LFR. We need 359 or higher. 359. Okay, so as soon as we have 359, we're going to go in and we're going to do the LFR stuff and see all the cinematics associated with that. Maybe even get some gear. And we'll definitely run LFR once a week. Uh, we'll do it as much as we can, which I think the cooldown is once a week. So as soon as we can get into that, guys, we will. And then I'll do the weekly video with the raid. I'd love to eventually do normal and heroic raids, but obviously that requires a guild. That being said, if any of you guys are on the Alliance side on the Storm Rage server, and you need an Enhancement Shaman, well, here I am. I'm not very good, and I have crap gear. But that'll change over time, and yeah, maybe we'll try to find some people to do normals and heroics with later on down the road. Thank you guys for being here and for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And take care of yourselves out there. Take care of each other. We will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.